So the tuba, for me, the tuba is one of my favorite instruments to use in a film orchestration. Uh, I've done a lot of comedies, but what I like to use the tuba for is for its upper end, because I think it has such a unique brass sound. It is, in many respects, the most mellifluous, even non-brassy kind of instrument when you get into its, its upper end. Uh, there's a, a, a wonderful variations in pictures at an exhibition, the Mussorgsky piece. If you want to check out a, a, a tuba playing up uh, high, I forget the variation, but I'm sure you can find it. My name is David Newman, and, and this is the Orchestral Tools Instrumentation Series. Let's take a deeper dive into the tuba. <laughs> The body of the bass tuba consists of a 3.5 to 4 meter bent tube. Depending on the construction method, it has four to six valves. The mouthpiece is directly attached to the body. Like on the other instruments of the brass section, the tone is produced by pressing the lips against each other and blowing. This buzzing sound is amplified by the instrument. The tuba almost exclusively takes over the role of the bass in the brass section, usually along with the trombones or sometimes the French horns. The sound of the tuba is closer to the horns than the trombones. Because of this, composers of the late Romantic period preferred to use a double bass trombone or a chimbasso as the bass of the brass section. Nevertheless, the tuba is usually used in the brass section, both the bass and contrabass tuba. Mostly tuba players themselves decide whether they use a bass or contrabass tuba on the basis of the composition. The contrabass tuba in B goes down to B0. The tuba in sound is closer to the horns. Its sound is soft and full. Solos are rare for the tuba. The most famous example in film music you'll find is in Jabba the Hutt from Star Wars by John Williams. The range of the tuba, depending on the instrument, is from B0 to G4, or B minus one to G3, after the MIDI definition used in our sample instruments. The lower register sounds rather mellow when played piano. In forte, it can sound very rough. This register is typically used for the bass of a brass ensemble. The middle register is used most often. It provides a big and powerful, but not hard or aggressive sound. The upper register also provides a powerful sound. Often it's used in special places of danger or even comic character. Now let's take a look at main playing techniques of the tuba. The vibrato on the bass tuba can be used to simulate a supple sound and let the note appear louder.
Single and double tonguing are common techniques of the tuba, just like with the other brass instruments. Articulating a ta gives a certain articulation. Depending on the speed of the music, double tonguing with ta ka or even triple tonguing with an articulated ta ka ka is necessary. Trills can be performed easily, but are rarely called upon in the literature. So check out whatever literature you can with the tuba, particularly that uh, Mussorgsky piece, the pictures in an exhibition. I think it will give you a really good idea of the range of the tuba. Stay tuned. <laughs>